Hi guys, it's Mary. Welcome back. Today's going to be a different video featuring my mother and Shy Guy. It's a collaborative effort here. We're talking about a mobility scooter today. This company reached out to me, asked me if they could send me a mobility scooter, and I almost said no because, well, I don't need a mobility scooter yet. You know who does is my mom. She has a really nice one. It's a chair that she uses a joystick. It goes like 360 degree radius on it and it is heavy. It needs a lift in my daddy's truck to take it around. That truck is older than my Mustang and it doesn't get driven, but maybe once a month, if that, and one of these days, knock on wood, Trigger, which is the name of the truck, is not going to be with us any longer. And my sister or I, either one, are not going to pay the money to get a lift put in our vehicle so we can transport Cooper, which is that mobility scooter that she has. I keep calling Cooper a scooter, but Cooper is a chair, similar to this one here. It requires a lift to get it in and out of the truck, and it's too big to use in my mom's house. It's been a godsend for her. I understand she can fly around my sister's house in it because it was specifically built for handicapped disabilities, and it shops well. But for the inside of my mom's home, Cooper isn't really an option. So I went to their website, and I looked, and I saw that several of these can be broken down, put in a trunk, and carried wherever in an SUV, which my sister and I both have access to. And I thought, okay. So I wrote them back and I'm like, would you be willing to do this for my mother? And they said they'd be honored. So that's what we're gonna do today. And as you know, she's already done one thing on my channel and you guys really liked that. And this is very helpful for people who watch the channel who may be looking for it for like my purposes, an elderly parent, or perhaps you are in need of a scooter that can travel that you can ride in your house. I want to say thank you to Annabelle at VOCIC.com. They provided the scooter for us. She worked with me through several emails and measurements of the house to make sure that we got exactly what we needed that would fit my mom's needs. Yeah. If you want to see what that is and how that works, then just keep watching. We're doing the unboxing here to see what is in this. How is it going to be put together and all that jazz? We're hoping that she's going to be able to use this in her house to drive around the house instead of, you know, always using the walker. Here's how it's all packed up. We want to assemble this and then see, because the only way I can think of that I could even transport this would be to take it and put it in parts in the vehicle. I would think it would be too heavy to do any other way. Uh, what he just took out, the first thing, were two batteries. That's the basket. What do you think? Is that a nice heavy-duty one? Feels pretty good. Feels pretty. And then inside this box is... It's like Christmas. It's a surprise. What is it? Charger. Charger for the battery? Somewhere in here, I'm sure we're going to come across an owner's manual that will tell us what we need to do. But yeah, these are the chargers for this right here. What is this? Handlebars. Oh, the handlebars. Okay. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Feels attached. Okay. This is attached to something down here. So that folds down. Oh, I, my goodness. This is all like one piece, isn't it? Let me see, I'm gonna try to, oh heck, I can't lift that. The reason I sound so shocked is because I thought somewhere, I got the impression, and it may have been a different scooter, that this base would come apart into two pieces so that someone like me could transport it easily. So there's the seat on it. Here it is out of the box. And he's got the seat over there. The battery goes right there. We probably need to charge it. Let's try and do this from perspective of a typical man who doesn't read the instructions first. Okay, <laughs> sounds good to me. We're not instructions anyway, readers, so let's see if we can do this with no instructions. So we got the seat Battery's here. on, seat's coming. Battery is on. Seat is coming. Hopefully you don't need that. It looks like a swivel bucket seat. 
yeah, it's supposed to swivel. But wow, this I hope goes up higher than that. She <laughs> won't be able to get down that low. That's what some of those parts in the instruction booklet are for. Setting the seat height. Gotcha. And uh, I bet that <laughs> inside there, those what those things are up there. Yeah. They go to this. The company probably doesn't like us not reading the manual, but you know, hey. You know people are going to do this, right? So can it be done or do we need the manual? Let's zoom in here. We got our little logo on the back. Is that actually like a pocket? It is. It's actually a little pocket thing. So you could put something in there if you wanted to. Go all the way around. What's that doing? Oh, it goes, swings up so she can get in and out of it. Thanks. Spin around here to see about this one. So it just screws on the back there. Yeah, it's got some quick speed bolts on there that. Oh, okay. I'll turn it upside down here in a minute and you can take a better look at it. Okay. Isn't it kind of heavy? Not that bad. The seat's not that bad. It'll pop. So would you say just lifting on it with these, there's these handles. See that handle down there? Right there. <laughs> um, would you say that you, as a man, can pick this up and put it in the back of an SUV? I don't. There's no question I couldn't do this. It, it would probably be a little tedious, but I mean, you, uh, if, if, you, you, if you take it apart piece by piece at a time, yeah, just from basic observation for right now. This is supposed to latch. And make it swivel by pulling the knob. But this is not fully connected to it. Sorry, I turned off the camera for a second. Um, I wanted to check the manual. And so he just screwed that into the front there. I'm not sure he's listening to me, so I came back and got the camera. <laughs> You know that I can't pull over and ask directions kind of thing that men do. <laughs> it won't turn until you lift the knob. Well, that's good. <laughs> that good. We don't want her just sliding out of the thing. Yeah, seeing okay. how this basket's supposed to go on. Okay. It looks like it just clips in. Well, until I figure out whether or not it's supposed to have something screwed in to hold it on. And you know what would be a good place to check? The book. The manual. <laughs> Real men don't use those. No. Real men don't use. Yeah. It's got a light button and a horn. <laughs> annoying horn. An annoying horn. Okay, so the key goes right there. See, it's like the slot. So put that on there. And then that loud beep comes and I've got my drink <laughs> in here. You just push this little lever forward to go forward and to, you know, go back. And we're just going to take a little spin around the island here. Whoa, <laughs> this got good turning radius on it. Yeehaw! <laughs> okay, but you can't see me, so I'm going to let Shy Guy do it. <laughs> okay, honey, y'all. It's kind of fun, ain't it? <laughs> okay. you over. Ah! All right, I'm a little out of breath, but I didn't get it in the house. Now, I want to say that I did load it all by myself in the back of my car. And the way I did that was to um, lift this thing up toward this way so it's on its hind legs okay and these wheels here are supposed to be able to let you like drag on them but they don't move very well and as you can see I've already scuffed her up quite a bit on my driveway now my husband if he had done it probably that wouldn't have happened because he's a man and he could have lifted it but it's important to me since I'm the one who takes care of her <laughs> and my sister that we be able to do this. So I put it in the car. And like I said, the way I did that was I came, drug it, like set it up so that it's on its hinds 
And then I put that wheel, like raised, raised it up, put that wheel on the tailgate. And then once I had that up there, I lifted this part up and rolled it in. When I got here, <laughs> I was thinking, how am I gonna get that back out the way that I got it in? And oh, our very nice neighbor men come running over seeing what I was doing and just picked it up and <laughs> got it out of there for me. So I couldn't show you, I've got these things apart. So I couldn't show you how it was in the back of the car <laughs> and I couldn't show them taking it out, but they were very concerned that I wasn't gonna get hurt. So what they did was, and it was much easier bringing it in, was to bring this up, okay? And just pull it. If you loosen it up there at the front, it will pull all the way forward like a wagon handle and you can just put it in neutral and pull it like a wagon <laughs> behind you up the driveway and that's how i got this in here it did have the battery on it at that time though but i took it back off because i want to time myself how long it takes me to assemble the scooter and that's what i'm going to do right now one minute 36 seconds at a comfortable pace hi mom hi <laughs> so there here she is her scooter and this is what your charging station it is okay gonna start out from here because this is where it will be parked most of the time okay okay sounds good uh, I will say that um, before we get started this is a uh, handy dandy I have already found out um, I'm not quite ready to have to depend on one all the time but there are times when I absolutely depend on something besides my own legs so we're going to show you how i can get around with this one good in deal. my own house good deal which is a house built in was it 60 63 63 yeah well that makes sense because i was a year old when we got here right so 63 uh it has standard door openings and it's a ranch house okay so there's where she's plugged in. Now, on the other end of that, you can see this is the docking station. And, of course, we've not had to do that yet. But what do, did you want to say anything about that? I have not plugged it in myself yet. Okay. We're going to do it when we bring it back in here because I don't have to do it. I have somebody here about every day to check on me. I would like to know that I can do it. Yeah. See what I'm going to have to hold on to so I don't lose my balance and, you know, fall over head first. So. True, because anybody who has one of these scooters obviously has some <coughs> uh, me. problems feeling in their legs. So can she bend over and pick that up and charge it where it needs to be charged? Uh, we don't know, but we'll find, we'll find out. out. Back history, she does have a mobility scooter that's in the back of... It's a, actually a chair. It's a chair. And it has a joystick. Yes. So, you know, while she has been riding this around and stuff, she is used to years of driving one with a joystick. Yes. And this one here, it doesn't have a joystick. We got these little levers here. So, you know, there's that. But go for it, Mom. All right. I have had used one of these before, actually, in Las Vegas. Yes, that's right. She told me that. Yeah. Okay. Backup sensors, you know. Hello, wake up, we're backing up. <laughs> I had to cut a section right here out because we were both talking and it was too hard to understand what she was saying, which was that she was going to pull up here right next to Johnny, which is the walker that she's affectionately named, Johnny Walker Red, because it's red, and that she names all of her things. And this one here is Frankie. Frankie. Frankie and Johnny. Yeah, Frankie and Johnny in the house here. So <laughs> if you watch the Rocket Man video, I'll link it, um, then you know that she names everything. But Johnny and Frankie are both red. Okay, we're going to go down the hall first. Sounds like a plan. Okie dokie. We haven't moved anything to accommodate this. No, the house is exactly the way it always is. But I, I will point out something in a little bit that you could do if, you know, you lived alone and it's an option. Okay, first stop, the bathroom Yes, is very small, very whatever. I could take it in there, but it wouldn't be of any use to me in there. Correct. So just know that. Yeah, she just parks it right here and takes her cane to go in yes. uh, to the bathroom. 
Second on my left here is my office. We can't take it in there yet because of the big futon. It will be coming out next week. Yes. And then I'll be able to take it in there and it will pull up nicely to my desk and uh, my computer table also. Yeah, because there's a swivel on this seat yes. on both sides. Right. So she can turn it, you know, all the way, a 180 this way, a 180 that way. And then she can just like drive right up to the desk and sit in this and do her stuff. If you want to kind of look, you'll see I've got the arms back. Okay. Oh, yes, you do. Well, uh, I'm a little bit hefty. Mm -hmm. And it just makes me feel too closed in. Okay. And uh, not unusual for me to do that with, uh, you know, different things is to just put the arms on my way. Okay. Or you want me to take it in one of these rooms sure, now? Sure, if you want to, sure. Like I said before, these are standard size doors. I measured them. Let's take it in this room because it's got the light. I mean, the your shades are open. Oh, okay. All right, we'll have to back up. And now I drove this through here. The first day I drove this through the house and I was able to get in this room. Uh, but I'm not very skilled at these kind of things here. So, you know, she just whipped right in there. <laughs> it okay. took me a few tries. Now, of course, this is on wheels and it can be wheeled out of my way. Yes. This is a guest room. <clears throat> if I go with this all the way out of my way, I could just roll it. I'd come over here, open the drapes, close the drapes, sit here and put on makeup. Uh -huh. I could do whatever I wanted. With this, I've already maneuvered it to where I can get next to something, swivel the seat, and work from it. Yeah. And, you know, if you had to, you could take that out of here. Yes. And just drive right up. You yes. Know, make yeah. a quick backup and slide her in. And uh, if the, once you get used to the maneuverability, which it does have good maneuverability, I could go uh, to the closet and just back straight back out. To me... That, um, that's annoying, that beeping, but mom is used to riding around in a scooter, and I guess they all have this beeping. And I like that basket on there. I do, too. I like. I do like the basket. Um, I also like, at first, when we first put this together, I did not like how loose this basket is. I mean, it just comes right off there. But after I thought about it, it's actually better. I don't want her standing up fiddling around trying to get that basket off there it easily pulls right off easily goes back on yep so yes that's good okay so i haven't practiced enough on it yet to be real good on it but i am passable only after the second time of actually practicing on it well right and where you have been in scooters before has been a lot bigger than this so, yes I mean, and it, i can come over here to open my door and get my mail, I would park it right here and get up from here, though. Okay. Because a lot of times your doors, to be convenient, open out. And this opens in. Oh, okay. And I'd just be right in my own way. Well, sure. So, uh, if need be, future. I am almost 82, by the way. So, uh, future need. Uh, a lot of furniture can come out. And, uh, you know, it's here for looks more than anything else right now anyway. Yeah. I live alone. I don't use a lot of it. It's just, the, it's my furniture. Right. But need be, it can come out of here. And as long as you, I mean, like in here, I mean, of course you have a couch and a love seat that people that come to visit you sit on. You're not mm -hmm. going to get rid of those. But if you had to, you could get rid of this. I could. We don't use it. Um, I very rarely bring a drink in here. Uh, sometimes I'll set a drink on that coaster while I'm taking things in and out, but we eat at the table. So that actually could go if we had to. Mm -hmm. The chairs in here and in the dining room both, we could take them out except for her chair. And, you know, her children can get their own chair back out of the garage if we're <clears throat> visiting or whatever. She could go all the way around that table. She goes all the way around this island in here. If you live in a smaller place, don't think that you can't manage this. Absolutely. Because you could. I uh, I can tell you that uh, I stay at my other daughter's. Her home is fully handicapped accessible. Just built, but built for them someday. Yeah. And uh, this could fly around there. They've got the handicapped doors, pocket doors. They've yeah. got ramps. But this house... 
I'm not going to have any problem. I'm going to have to have a slight ramp if I want to go out that front door or if I want to go onto my patio, enclosed patio, because yeah. there is a step down. Again, that's not a problem. They have ramps of all inclines. Yeah, they, sell, they even sell them on Amazon, don't they? Yes. This scooter opens up for her the possibility of being able to go out, which you can see it's snowing out there right now, so we're not. But it opens up the possibility that mom can go in the backyard again. Yes. and She can go to her little bistro yeah, in the that's backyard. That's right. right. And she hasn't been able, or mostly because we won't let her, <laughs> but she hasn't been able to do that for two years now. Yes. Yes. I... Uh, and I it will tell you that having driven one like this on vacation and my own chair, the only thing I've found so far that I really find is the distance between if you got bad knees. Yeah. And I mean, it's not, I can't just get in and get my leg over the column. I have to come in from the side. Okay, yeah. But, you know, it depends on how bad the handicapped legs are. It gives me a little problem if I don't do it. I can get in it better if I come in it from a side. Do you leave the seat like this when you're getting in and out, or do you no, turn No, I the seat? turn it to the side. You turn it to the side to get out? And I then, do. Well, that's probably safer. And then you can sit down and turn the seat yes. to around. Yes. Okay. Because I'm not good anymore at even getting in and out of a vehicle or anything else than going in. That I can testify to. She has a problem with her right knee particularly. And whenever she tries to clear the entrance of the seat, uh, especially if the seat's not all the way back, mm -hmm. she needs a little help getting her foot in the door. Yes. So that I totally understand. Yeah, on top of handicapped knees, I have a handicapped foot that has yes. been injured years ago. So Yeah, yeah. she took a fall in the RV years ago, and it's kind of crippled that foot. Yeah, so and uh, she can't. She has no feeling in her feet, so you know she really. We feel a lot more comfortable knowing that mom has this option, and it will extend her time that she can live in this home. I have a full size pickup that uh, I cannot drive. I've not been able to drive for years, but it has a lift yeah. in it for my chair. And right now, either I use it. And somebody has to drive the truck. Yeah. Which I've only got two people in this family that will do that. Or I have to use one in a grocery store, et cetera. Half the time they're all taken. Half the time the charge is out on them. And uh, this, almost any member of my family could load this. I will say this. Um, I thought that this one was going to be the scooter that had... It was longer, and it came apart one more time on the base, so that see this whole thing here. You can take that battery off, and it's, but the rest of it and the seat and the seat. But this part on this particular scooter, now they they make it to where that comes apart in two. And if that was the case, I feel comfortable that I could easily move that myself. But with my own back injuries, I can't bend forward and pull weight up. So that's an issue. I can get that sucker in the back of an SUV because I just roll it in with this wheel. But getting it out, I can't tell you that I could do that. I, I don't know for sure because when I got here, two guys across the street come running and got it out for me. But I don't think I could. But if you got the one that comes apart in two spaces here at the bottom, then I think that even me could easily transport it. Yeah. Uh, the rest of it was real easy. I timed how long it took to put it together. It was like a minute 35 or something like that. Not, not a hassle yes. at all. It was amazing, really. It yeah. Was. So, you know, yeah. I mean, this is definitely, as far as I'm concerned, I'm sure mom, too, suiting the purpose that we wanted it for. Yes, yes. We're no longer uh, limited uh, to one dependable uh, you, you know, vehicle here. Right, and because Trigger can, Trigger's older than my Mustang, so, you know, you and it's not getting uh, driven very much. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that. Yeah, we don't, we don't talk about that out loud, but, you know, I, in particular, that's what I wanted this for, was to know that we could still have this capability for Mom, even if we couldn't get that truck going. And I will tell you, as far as uh, um, being able to put these in just about any place, this is the size I used. And in Las Vegas, you do a lot of 
traveling around the city on buses, and they have the oh. handicap buses. Okay. And you, they, they lower it, you drive it on the bus, and then they have a special slot for a handicap. And you have to, like parallel, park it. No problem. So they're very maneuverable. Oh, what do you think that maybe they could put a backup mirror on these? <laughs> well, i I got to tell you, I probably would want one. I don't know if everybody's. Yeah, listening. I wonder if we can buy one. My uh, best it? driving ability is not the backup. It's the forward. So, yes. Yeah, yeah, well, I don't see how it would be. for. But um, I just remembered that you have headlights on there. This is a, yeah. a cute thing for me. But, you know, they, she's got these headlights on the front. And yet they'll tell me I can't go out at night. Yeah, you're not allowed to do that, Mom. But what if she got up in the middle of the night and she had to drive to the bathroom? <laughs> she could see where she was going. Or what if headlights. you have a daughter that wants to play with the headlights? Yeah, or what if you have a daughter who likes to yes. play with headlights? Okay, well, I'm going to take it in the kitchen. Okay. And I'm going to go around my island. Yeah, and, and I'm then, going to show you how tight that is. And then I'm going to put it back in its docking station, telling all of you, I approve. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity to have it. Thank you, Mom, for oh. doing this. It's And thank you so much. I can't say the name of the company. I'll show you on the back of the seat. <coughs> okay, but I don't know how to pronounce that. I guess it's Vo Vokic. Vokic. Thank you for sending this to my mother and making her life easier and giving us a peace of mind as her children. And here we go. I'm going to go on in here ahead of her. And you can see that it's not a cramped space, but it's it's not what I would call spacious around the island. Um, she has a stool here that she uses to for that bag there that she brings stuff in and out of the patio with. Okay. All right. Here I come. Here she comes. Ready or not. Now, See, I, I would she want might. a little ramp right here. Yes, so right. I can go if out she to had a my ramp right enclosed here. patio. She could go out here and, you know, out that back door. <coughs> if she had one on the front door, she could go down the street and see my sister. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. They'd let me do that. <laughs> they look up and there's mom. Hi, mom. Yeah. Didn't know you was coming. Yeah. I did it again. Of course, I could, I guess, tuck here and. Unload the dishwasher, you know, do a yeah. couple of chores. Yeah, if you turn the seat, can you cook? Well, wasn't paying attention. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know if she could cook or not. <laughs> uh, no, I can't quite reach things safely. Yeah. You'd have to have a low stove to do that. Yeah, we don't even call mom if she's in here cooking. No. Because she might lose her balance and fall down. And <laughs> nobody wants that. No, we do not. Now. This will be my first effort at this. Okay. This is the first time that she's done this. A little bit docked it last night, right? Yeah, uh, yes, and almost ran it through the wall. <laughs> it's like Holly in the four-wheeler in yeah. the backyard. Okay, I'm here. I'm going to um, plug. Which it plugs in. See, she's got a key right there. Yeah. So she just pulls up on it, and it takes it. Now it can't, off. cannot move now. Yeah, it won't move. Now, there is a lever down here. And that lever is neutral or locked. And if you have it in neutral, it's going to keep beeping at you if you turn it on because it can't drive. But if it's in neutral, you can push or pull it if you, your battery's dead or you... Right. Yes. And see, now, look, here we go. See? We're, okay. Watch my fit. All right. See? Okay. I'm having trouble. Oh, okay. okay. She's having a problem getting her foot to clear. It's just yeah. a real short... Yeah. Mom can't get down on the floor like I am. So she's going to try it again. Yes, the pin is down. There's three pins. Um, I mean, the middle one is on the low end. Not It's 6 o'clock, not noon. So now I told her how to do this. Let's see if she can find it. <laughs> I mean, for her, this isn't... That big of a deal. One of us usually comes by every day, and we can just do it for her. But as you can see, she's struggling. No, I can't uh, do it to bend over and do that. Yeah, I would. I'm not telling you I won't eventually be able to do it because I am a very determined person. Yeah, she's pretty persistent. <laughs> you don't want to argue with her; you'll lose. <laughs> 
but we're going to let this go. Okay. Till I practice it. Yeah. Okay. I want to let you guys know that you mean the world to me. You're the best part of the Fritzy family. And that if you're not having a blessed day, the way that you get one is to be a blessing to someone else. And until next time, love you, see ya. Bye. And I'm out. <laughs>